so hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back for a little vlog i decided to just like randomly vlog i'm actually headed off to santorini on sunday which i actually can't believe still i feel like it's such like a bucket list place for me to go and i just thought it might be fun to do like a little vlog in the lead up to that it's currently wednesday and i'm just doing like a few like little prep things and i thought it might be quite fun to bring you guys along we'll do like a little holiday prep pack with me that type of thing i'm actually off today to get my hair done as you can see i've really made an effort with it today i am basically going to millie rose you guys know she's literally like the hair god um and she's basically going to be doing a blow dry for me and putting back some extensions that have fallen out obviously i just went on holiday i was literally in the pool like getting my hair wet and the chlorine and four of them have come out so i'm going to get the bonds put back in freshly blow dried probably a purple shampoo as well because you guys can see the ends of my hair are pretty ready right now which to be fair i don't really mind but yeah she'll probably want to do a purple shampoo on that so that is what i'm going off to do today i'm gonna head to the shops i've got some returns to do and i'm also gonna have a quick look in the shops and see if there's anything else i want to buy for holiday got some online orders coming which i'll show you guys help me decide what to pack i've got so many new clothes and i just don't really know what to pack um so yeah just like a little collective kind of prep with me vlog also trying to drink loads of water i have had this whole thing so far and it's only like half nine which is good because we're on track um i just need to do some workouts and stuff like that but yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along to my hair i'm gonna get dressed i'll show you guys what i'm wearing once i'm dressed just got on this little vintage t-shirt which i showed you guys in my recent come shop with me i literally live in this needs a good wash i think it's a bit dirty around my neck um so yeah i'm gonna head off i'll probably catch up with you guys when i'm at the hairdressers sorry guys i look a little bit less crazy now i just thought i'd do a little quick before of my hair just so you guys can see the difference of the after um as you can see the ends have gone pretty red and kind of like orangey compared to what you can kind of see as my own hair it also feels a little bit thin on the ends and a little bit kind of frizzy like it's definitely not blending as well it does need washing so that might be why um but yeah hopefully she's gonna sort me out i just feel like it's just very straggly holiday hair which i don't really mind but need a nice new refresh for santorini so just popped into typo look how cute these little mugs are i really like this little white one with the little flowers on so cute also these little colored ones are adorable the little green and blue and look at all these little glasses as well literally so cute so cute for summer and um, they literally have the best like cups and everything in here but it's just typo but they literally have such cute stuff. I showed you guys that in my other come shop with me. The little heart candle, the little um, trainer candles. These are also really cute, these little outdoor cushions. Imagine how cute on like a little chair outside. Yeah, literally, I love it in here so much. How cool is a soup bowl as well? Hungry for content. It's noodle. Noodle, well noodle, you can have like noodle soup. Um, and then you can put like little chopsticks in here. Imagine you get like a little picture of that, which would look so cute. These are all in the sale, these six pounds. so guys i'm back from getting my hair done i am obsessed she did such a good job she's just given it a little blow dry she's conditioned it really nicely as well like i can never get my hair to feel as soft as she does it and that all blends really nicely i just put in the ones that fell out back in the bonds that fell out um, and they all kind of came from one side which was really weird like this side was actually feeling a lot thinner but now they've really evened out and yeah it just blends a lot nicer um yeah definitely feels a lot more fresh and then she also did a purple shampoo on the bottom which has kind of helped that bit a little bit and then the blonde parts were a lot more blonde if you guys can see but yeah it just generally feels a lot more refreshed a lot brighter it's definitely a lot brighter on camera as well a lot blonder so yeah obsessed with that i managed to get a case from tk maxx picked one up from tk maxx actually a really nice case and it was quite a reasonable price as well so yeah it was quite successful we have anything in the shops like literally nothing and i feel like i've got so many like holiday outfits anyway i don't really need anything too new um but i think like my day is actually changing a little bit my schedule has changed a little bit it's going to be kind of like a chill day but i've actually like george has messaged me just now and just said that she's going to a lawn lux event so i'm going to go with her to that so that's going to be tonight's little agenda i might quite try and vlog a little bit for you guys as well i know i said this is going to be like a prep with me vlog but 
it's fine. I feel like I've not done anything for so long. I feel like last holiday I just sat in waiting for my next holiday. And then I'm like, oh, I'll just sit in this week, get work done and wait for the next holiday. And I feel like I'm just wasting time. And I feel like it's making my like mental health not very good as well. I feel like I just actually need to go out and meet friends and like have fun between the holidays, if that makes sense. I feel like I've always been like that. Like even after before a night out, like I feel like I can't do anything in the day. I've got to like wait in. Like I don't. It's just like in my head. Like even before a night out when I was younger, I'd think like, oh I've got to prep like the whole day, I've got to like get work done so that I can enjoy the night out. And I feel like that's just a really bad way to think. So I'm gonna get all the work done that I need to get done, but I think it is important to have like some downtime and some fun time with the girls as well. So I'm gonna go for some drinks in London, go to this event, I'll bring you guys along to that. You decide what to wear, honestly don't have a clue, but at least my hair is done and looking very fresh. I'm gonna try and just clip it up now and not touch it so it can kind of adjust. Um, it's really not a very nice day. It's literally like chucking it down with rain outside. So I'm praying that's going to stop by the time I go to London. Just really hope it does. But yeah, I don't really know what to wear. Do I like a Lorna Lux vibe? Not a clue. I'm going to have some lunch now. I'm actually going to go with my lunch because I've been having a really nice lunch. Which is literally my new fave. Sorry, I've got to bring my camera downstairs. So I thought I would just show you guys my phone. This is my lunch. I've been having it for the last few days. And it's basically like feta salad with like tomato, chickpeas roasted in like the spicy... What was it roasted in? Chickpeas? Just spicy seasoning. Spicy seasoning. Peri peri rice, tuna, egg. Basically just like a salad bowl. I don't really know what you would really call this, but I've been obsessed with it. I've basically been eating one of these every day, like something different in it. I never really like egg, but for some reason when it's on like this, I do like the egg. So yeah, that is what I'm going to have. Also, I've been having this chipotle mayonnaise, which I highly recommend. I had this in my dad's before. I was obsessed with it. I hadn't had it for years. And I've really got back into it again. So I'm going to eat this now. I'm going to try this drink. Tropical Blast. Zero sugar from Aldi. Aldi. So yeah. Also just got an excited delivery in the mail. Got these from Amazon. Which are coloured eyeliners. For some reason I just had like a random idea for Santorini. I wanted to do like some cool different like eye looks. Because a lot of my looks are like quite colourful. And I just love it like when Tinsia did this for Coachella. And so many people have been doing like coloured eyeliner. So I just got this like little pack with loads of different colours in. There's literally like every single colour you can think of. So I'm very excited to try these. I'm going to open them. I'll probably test them out. I might test them out later when I'm doing my makeup. But I don't think this is really the Lorna Lux vibe for tonight. But yeah, I'm very excited to do some like cute holiday looks. Maybe like some just like blue liner, blue wings, pink wings. So yeah, very excited to use these. I think they're like £10. I'll link them down below because I feel like... They're quite a good one. They had good reviews. So we'll see how they work. Okay, guys, I'm all ready to go to the Lorna Lux event. This is what I've gone with. Something a little bit different for me. Um, I got this dress actually from a charity shop, my local charity shop last year. And I never actually got to wear it last year. So I thought I would wear it for this. It's actually like a really cute, like, bat wing kind of style. Super comfy because it's basically just really loose here. But then it kind of is a little bit more mini. So it makes it look a bit more sexy vibes. Um, obviously, just have my hair blow dried. I've not even touched my hair because I just think kind of fallen out curl looks cute with this dress going with my cowboy boots which i've not worn for ages i'm hoping they're not going to rub me um but yeah very very cute i feel like it looks kind of more trendy vibes with the cowboy boots if you guys know what i mean so as always i'm also going to wear my little balenciaga look for goal and that is my finished look for the evening um yeah i'll try and film some little clips on my phone i'm not going to take out i'm not going to take my camera because i've had to stuff an umbrella in here because it's going to torrential rain so I've got like a little hairbrush and stuff in here. So I can't fit the camera. But I will vlog on my phone some like little clips. Show you guys what I'm up to. But yeah, I just thought you guys might want to see the outfit. I'll try and link something similar if I can find a similar dress. Because I when I got this last year, everyone asked where it was from. But yeah, it's very, very cute. for coming tonight. This is the first in the style event. Am I right about this, Jenna? Yeah, a long time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since COVID, yeah. Since COVID. So this is really a big deal for me because I've been with in the style over three years now. Guys, I'm with Sophie, but I feel like I know already. And she's got her little bowl of chicken. <laughs> I thought it was mine. Nice. What is it? Chicken. It's like a bowl of chicken. It's chicken. It looks very nice. Yeah, it's good. Even though I'm a vegetarian, it actually looks really nice. 
I was gonna offer you some then, but you went over. Yeah, looks nice. There's them, and this is the new Lorna collection. I like the fact that it's a play suit, I think and it's got pockets, it. and it's got changing. pockets. Yeah. And you can't even see like the camera's not even doing it, it's just it's like glitchy. Yeah. It's so pretty. I like it. They're not Mac and Mac. Yeah, they are River Island. Island. Which is crazy. Well, I'm having a very nice time with uh, well, so the I drink. I did order you. Did you get a drink? No. Right guys, we're on our way home. We will be calling at Denham. We're both a little bit, yeah, she's on a box. I did stab it with Lauren Lux. Lauren Lux. Sorry, we got the name of you. Sorry, go away. Glamorous. Right. Sorry, ignore my finger runs. I bent my nail back on the dryer. Cleaning is not for me. This is the blazer. Do you know what? I think it could look cute, like with a like over something plain. Do you know what? Someone came up to me and they were like, "I think it could look cute as a separate." And I was like, "I agree." No, I like the skirt as well. The skirt is like yeah, it they sent me this in a twelve. Like they sent me this in a ten. Oh no! It's not gonna happen, guys. In a ten. <laughs> Because I love this little, can... I love that little. I'll give this to Bella right now. Do you have anything my ass? Right, my ass isn't gonna fit in that either. It's not happening. He sent me the blazer and a twelve. Yeah, We've got muddled. We need the blazer and a ten. Ten and that and a twelve and a twelve. But I do think it's very cute. I mean, look at a little two. I love the little print of it. It'll fit Liv. Yeah, I love the like. That is like sorry. That would not go over one side. It's tiny. Liv, the, Liv, the waist. Liv tiny. is gonna wear this in Santorini because I'll make her. Honey. Yeah, it was cute though. Yeah, it was very cute event. Sorry, we didn't we didn't vlog that much. Did no, we? I've got a few little, little clips, but we're on our way back to the hometown. <laughs> to, to the hometown. I'm going to give you a bit of a reflection of you. Is it? <laughs> right, we're gonna go. So hello guys, that vlog ended up taking a little bit of a turn. I ended up going out, obviously had a great time at the event. It was actually such a good event. And I met so many like lovely girls that I've spoke to for so long on Instagram, but like never seen in real life. So that was so lovely. Met Sophie, met Kate. Um, and yeah, met so many like lovely people there. So today's task is to get some euros. I need to get some euros. I need some new eyelashes. I need some new eyelash glue. Just like little things like that. Um, and I just thought I'd bring you guys along today. This is my little fit today. I've got this Zara top on which I absolutely adore. Um, my Primark jeans, as always, and my Looker Goal. Because I used it the other day, I just thought I'd use it again today. Got some content to shoot today. Got some stuff to edit. Honestly, I feel like I'm here there everywhere. I'm so out of breath. It's so hot in this room. We're currently having a heat wave in the UK, so it's like 24 degrees today. Slightly dying, but we've got a lot of stuff to do. So hopefully, we're going to get it all done. So guys, I'm in Claire's. Look how incredible this little clip is. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. Yeah, and the little pink one. So pretty. I don't know how much they are. Probably quite a lot. Um, £16. This is one you've got quite a lot. Price, yeah, I know. I think I might just take the ones I've got from Amazon because then it's less hassle. What's these? The actual hair bands. Yeah. yeah. Really cute though. Really cute for like weddings and stuff. Guys, come in Zara. How pretty is this dress? I kind of love it. But I actually have too many holiday clothes. I don't know if I should be buying any more. But it's very, very cute. It's a dangerous trip, this little bag. It's adorable as well. Bag for holiday. Yeah, I really like that. I really like that. These are adorable as well. I'm just not sure about the towels. I just feel like I prefer these ones. They don't have a seven. They've only got 41. 
which I don't know if they're like a little bit too big. But I do like these. I just don't know if they're going to go with as many of my outfits. They're a little bit of damage in Zara. I've just popped into H&M, um, H Smith, because I'm going to try and get a book to read on the plane. I'm just actually really like reading on holiday anywhere. I've actually really enjoyed it the last few holidays I've been on. So I'm going to look at the bestsellers, go for some kind of chick flicky one. And yeah, I read this on my last holiday in Turkey and I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. I literally loved it so much. I'm used to read it now. I kind of want one similar to that, but yeah, I'm going to have a little look. So hello guys. This vlog has taken a little bit of a funny turn. I'm now back from Santorini, as you can probably tell from my tan. I wasn't even going to bother using this footage. I just thought, you know what, I'll just go straight to Santorini vlogs and just kind of disregard this footage. But I thought, you know what? I filmed it, it is footage, I do want to like still put it out there, so I just thought I would finish the little vlog by showing you guys what I did pick up on that shopping trip. Always I've already worn most of these pieces now um, in Santorini, but I feel like it doesn't really matter, I'll still just show you what I picked up, where it was from, I'll link everything down below if you guys are interested as well. I am going to do a what I wore in Santorini video, like a whole video as well, so stay tuned for that because all these pieces will be styled up very soon, and Santorini vlog is coming next video after this, so very exciting but yeah i still wanted to use this footage i was like you know what i'm going to the effort to film it let's just put it out okay first i'm going to start with some things that i got from zara um i'm gonna start off with these these were probably my best purchase for the whole entire holiday you can actually really see how much i've worn them that is crazy i put these ones up in zara i think i might have shown you guys these in the like little vlog that i did but they are this stunning pair of like flat jeweled sandals if you've been to greece if you've been to santorini mykonos you'll probably know you can't really wear heels there it's all kind of like cobblestones and like beautiful little quaint streets so heels are a bit of a no-go i already knew that before i went so i just thought these were a really great option to wear with my more dressy items um when i still wanted a bit of glitz i still wanted it to look very elegant but i didn't want it to be like a heel and oh my god these could not have come in more handy they went with every single one of my outfits i wore them i think every single night i just love the way they look they're very delicate they're very comfy as well i was a bit worried that this bit might dig in but it's actually a very soft rubber so it's actually really comfortable love the jewel detail very manolo is it manolo's that like this or no yeah i think it's manolo's kind of like that vibe um they're really comfy that like, cushioned on the bottom as well and i actually got these in a size uk6 which is a size down from my normal size i'm usually a seven they didn't have a seven and you best believe i was getting these shoes so i just sized down and to be honest they actually fit really well like i didn't find that they were too small at all so these are my first purchase and i feel like the whole summer i'm gonna wear these like pub gardens just like little dinners and stuff like that they're just so easy to slip on but they still have that like wow factor that you would like get from a heel literally obsessed with these okay so next item from zara i picked up this absolutely stunning like little cheesecloth skirt um i saw this hanging up and i just thought it was very like santorini vibes very kind of greek flowy floaty boho vibes which i'm actually really loving at the moment um i tried it on i fell in love with it and i bought it and i wasn't sure if i was going to 100 keep it just because it's very girly for me this is normally a little bit out of my comfort zone but this has been my most worn like purchase in my wardrobe probably for like the last two weeks i've not taken it off like as soon as i've come back i've had it on constantly i've been wearing it to the shops so i've just been chucking it on with everything and i just absolutely love it it's very comfortable it's got a very stretchy elasticated band at the back so it's super comfortable it's a great length um i got a size i think I got a size medium in this yeah size medium i'm five foot ten and the length is perfect i already have a little skirt like this but it's a little bit too long and it's a little bit white it's not as like cream as this but this one is so much nicer it's so much better the quality is incredible love the little button detail things like this will never go out of fashion like, i'll be wearing this every single summer and i just feel like this is just such my vibe now like since coming back from santorini all i want to wear is this like pretty little boho greek vibe it's actually a bit of a problem because the weather is not cooperating currently in the uk but very very cute nonetheless size medium and i would 100 percent recommend it it's such a cute little skirt okay so third and final purchase from zara is this pair of green linen trousers i actually have a pair of um very similar trousers to this from zara in beige that i got in the sale and i wear them all the time and they're a size like xl or xxl because they've got a drawstring waist they are just like the perfect fit 
They're really nice when you don't want to wear cargoes. Like you want a bit more of like a floaty, flowy vibe. But you still want to be a little bit more oversized, chill, cool vibes. So I saw these hanging up. I really like the colour. This colour green, you guys know I love it. I just thought with a white bandeau in the summer... It's just going to be really nice and easy to throw on. I actually ended up wearing this to the shops quite a few times when I was in Santorini. With like a little white bandeau or like a crochet bralette or even like a bikini top. Um, I just thought they were really nice just to chuck on. Especially if my legs were like a bit burnt or anything like that. But yeah, really nice quality. Again, kind of like a classic. But I really love the colour. And I just feel like I'm going to wear these a lot in the UK as well. Like they're not just like a Santorini holiday purchase. They're like a all year round pretty much purchase. And I just feel like these linen trousers just go with everything. And they are so comfortable. Um, I think I got these in a big size as well. I got these, yeah, in an XL. And they are, like, kind of big. But they're not, like, absolutely massive. But they do obviously have the drawstring waist. So I pull that in on the waist. And then just have them a little bit baggier on the legs. Okay, so the other shop that I made some purchases in was Primark. Um, I always love Primark for holiday bits. I don't know why. I just always purchase those bikinis from there. Actually, I've got bikinis to show you guys as well. But I think it's in the wash. I'll insert a picture of that on the screen. Because that is another item which I picked up. I picked up a white toweling bikini from Primark and it is such amazing quality, it's such amazing fit. I don't think I can link Primark which is so annoying but try looking your local Primark because honestly it's like one of the nicest bikinis I've ever had. Um, I got lots of pictures in that so I'll insert that on the screen. Also in those pictures I'm wearing this cute little bucket hat which I picked up from Primark. I am never really much of a bucket hat girl, I just don't think they really suit me. I've got a big head, like not many hats really suit me. But I just thought this one was very cute. It was very Santorini vibes. And do you know what? I actually really like these kind of hats with a bikini. I think that is when I like them styled the most. Um, I saw Michelle in Ficino wear like a little one on her Amalfi Coast trip. And I just thought that the whole vibe looked really, really cute. Um, and this one somehow does actually fit my head. Which I thought was just quite cute. I just thought like with the white bikini it was just a very cute vibe. Um, and I actually ended up wearing it quite a lot. Not even just for like aesthetic reasons. But... Just because it actually really protected my head. I don't know if you guys can see. I've got like a little bit of a burnt scalp. I don't know if it's kind of gone down now. But I just find these hats are actually really practical to just chuck on. So you don't get burnt. And they look very cute as well. So yeah, I picked this one up. I think it was like £2 or £3. Something ridiculous. But it's kind of a more pretty way to wear a bucket hat. Second item I picked up from Primark was this little blue top. Which I actually currently already have in pink which I've shot quite a few times, I'll insert a picture on the screen. Um, but I saw this blue hanging up, and obviously this is such like a Santorini Greek colour. So I just feel like I need it in the blue. It's a little bit different. It actually looks really nice with the tan. It's very, very cute. And this one's like more of a satiny material. My pink one's a bit more like a linen. And I just love this so much. It's actually a pyjama top. Like it's meant to be like a sleep top. But I just wore it with jeans. I wore it with denim shorts. I wore it with like white trousers. Like so many things you can wear it with. And I just think it is adorable. Again, looked amazing in Santorini. But I feel like it's something I'll wear a lot in the UK as well. When I'm just going for like a nice dinner or like a pub lunch or something. Just to put this on with some denim shorts. And like those just like slide on Zara sandals which I just showed you guys. Mm -hmm. It's just such an easy outfit. And I really like the colour. The quality is great as well. Um, I'm not quite sure, sorry my phone is going off, I'm not quite sure how much this was but I'll try and insert um, the price whatever on the screen if I can find it. And I've also cut the label out, so I don't even know what size I got this in, I think I got this in a size small, which is an 8 to 10. Um, and I did that because it's basically stretchy, like this part is very stretchy, and the bra straps are adjustable. So you can basically adjust every single part of this, which is really really good. Also has three different settings on the back. So like a, oh my god, who is messaging me? But like a bra strap, obviously you can decide how tight or loose you want it. And then the final item I picked up from Primark is this very Larry pair of denim shorts. I got these, these this line pair of denim shorts, which are very vibrant. Um, I actually didn't end up wearing these as much as I thought I would in Santorini. Hopefully I can wear them a bit more and style them a bit more in the UK. I just thought maybe with like a grey blazer or like boots or something in the UK, they might look a bit cooler. I did actually wear them a lot like to the pool. I wore them just like practically to the pool with like a white tank top and my bikini underneath. And I found them actually really comfortable and they were just like a nice pop of colour. But I didn't really style them up and get a picture in them, which is a bit annoying. But oh well, I will shoot them when I'm home. These are very different. I just thought everyone after Coachella is wearing those like fluffy shorts with like the, f the fur on the bottom. And I thought this was kind of a little bit of a similar vibe to that. And obviously lime at the moment is like the colour of the moment. So I just thought... They were kind of cool. I, like I said, I wanted to try and sell them maybe even for a night out with like some heels, a blazer, a bralette, that kind of vibe. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm intrigued. Like, I want to challenge myself to style these. Even like a white tank top and just like Balenciaga trainers 
very easy and just like a nice pop of colour. I obviously have a denim pair of Levi shorts that I wear all the time and I've got a Primark beige pair. But sometimes I do just get a bit bored of them and sometimes in the summer I want to dress a little bit more like fashion-y rather than just like boho-y. So this will be what I grab when I want to dress like that. I got these in a size 14 which is obviously quite oversized. I'm normally a UK 10 but I always find I have to size up in Primark denim anyway. I normally always get a 12 for like a normal fit but I did want these to kind of sit a little bit lower so which is why I opted for the 14 and the fit is perfect on these. Very comfortable and they're also great, great quality. But yeah, I just need to try and find some ways to sell them in the UK. Hopefully I will, because they're very, very cool. I'm pretty sure they were very reasonably priced as well. So guys, that is going to conclude today's vlog slash haul slash... I don't even know what to call it. I can't even remember what's in this vlog. It's kind of crazy. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. I just feel like I didn't want to waste this footage. I wanted to put it out. And I just feel like it was a nice like, document that kind of lead up to my holiday for me to look back on as well. I will try and link everything I purchased down below if you guys want to purchase any of these items for yourself. It's just annoying that some are Primark, so... It's going to be a bit of a faff. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for the Santorini vlog. It is coming very, very soon. It's going to be the next video after this one. I'm hoping by Sunday, but I don't want to promise. Also, not sure if it's going to have two parts or one part. Honestly, I, I haven't even looked at the footage yet, but I feel like there's a lot. So you have to stay tuned for that one. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Leave a little comment. It really helps with my engagement. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.